What is going on guys? My name is Apathy. I'm a pro player for the LA Gorillas, and today I'll be giving you guys five most OP things that pro players do in Cold War. Now we're gonna waste no time here. We're gonna go straight into it, and we're gonna be talking about tip number one, which is one of the most important tips. And if you're not doing it, you're a little behind. We're gonna be talking about how to slide cancel and the best time to slide cancel because both of those things are extremely important. And there's actually two ways to slide cancel now, especially in Cold War. So the first way to do it is you want to slide, slide, jump. Basically, slide, slide, jump. And here's what happens when you do this. First of all, when you slide, it's an obvious slide. When you do a second slide, it stops you in your track. So you slide, slide, it stops you, and then you jump to put yourself back up without actually having to click back up. So this is a really good way to engage. And you can use also the slide, slide cancel to run away. Um, this can be really effective for both now for the next way to slide cancel make sure you guys are paying attention this is going to be a little bit different you're going to slide aim and jump slide aim and jump now this game this is specifically in cold war is actually a better way to engage if you're going to slide cancel challenge people and the reason it's a little bit better is because it seems like the pull up time and the movement that it kind of leaves you in it's a little bit more fluid and faster so you can kind of see like i'm pulling on my gun when i do this pretty fast and it looks a little bit more faster than me doing this. In Cold War, slide canceling and slide canceling, you know, challenging people is still good and it's effective, but it's not as broken as it was in Modern Warfare. So when you're slide canceling and challenging people around this, sometimes you're probably better off just pre-aiming and holding the angle or just uh, like pre-aim chow. Like me literally doing this, I, I get the kill versus doing this. Like sometimes it is better. So try not to overuse it in this game. Understand when you should by playing the game you're gonna see like certain gunfights you should use it certain gunfights you shouldn't and that's something pro players are really good at also the last thing with this tip is when you are running around the map um something in modern warfare people used to do a lot with slide cancel everywhere um you got to be really careful in this game you don't want to slide cancel everywhere you don't want to slide because it gives away your position you can hear the slide all around the map so when you're maneuvering around the map you want to sprint more and try not to slide everywhere and trust me it's going to help you out a ton because people aren't going to know you and that leads me to tip number two straight away we're going to be talking about sprinting out in cameras now if you don't know in this game sprint out time is actually a very effective and it's low-key better than slide canceling and challenging people that way now i can simply just sprint out and challenge people over and over again and get some crazy kills the reason it's so good it's the pull of time the pull of time is actually technically a little bit faster than it is slide canceling so you should have an advantage the only thing you don't have obviously is the crazy movement that the slide cancel produces now obviously having the right attachments is a little bit of a factor attachments like no stock or other attachments that give you more sprint out time it's definitely important when it comes to sprint out but basically what you want to do is let's say i know someone's here i could challenge out like this and look at these bots just lined enough for me for the video thank you so much you little bodies and the reason this is so effective is one the sprint out time is fast like i said two you actually have a very bo fast boost of sprint out time on the initial run for about a second and then it slows down right away so this initial uh you know boost of sprint out time can kind of help with the cameraing and kind of catching people off guard not too long ago i was playing a pro team and i killed two people mid and there was a guy in this window pre-aiming me right here what did i do what do you guys think I did? Did I slide cancel out and kill challenge them? I probably would have died. No, I simply did this. I hit the sprint out, bang, hit the, hit the headshots and camera hit him and killed them. Now for tip number three, we're going to be talking about pre-aim and strafing. Basically using both to your advantage. Now, a lot of people think, well, this might be a little bit common sense or like, what the heck are you talking about? But trust me, even some pro players don't do this, especially when I go in pubs, a lot of people don't do this. I mean, they'll sit here and pre-aim, but they don't pre-aim strafe. Now, what do I mean about pre-aim strafe? Obviously, it depends if your gun has a little bit of strafe and that some attachments you're using helps the strafe a little faster. But pre-aim strafing basically is, hey, there's a guy here, peek out while I'm aimed in and shoot him. Not only is it easier for me to hit shots because I'm already basically on my target as soon as he comes around the corner, but I have my gun up. Uh, all I got to do is shoot. Let's say there's a guy in this room right here, kind of playing like this, right? I can slide out and probably kill him, right? But sometimes me just approaching the gunfight literally like this, like just how I kill that guy, like this, I have a higher chance of killing that guy every time. And what's better about cream strafe as well is you hear, like you, even though you have ninja, you can still hear the footsteps really faint. 
when you aim in it's even lower and it's almost impossible to hear so it's a really good way um basically to you know kill them now we're gonna be talking about tip number four and this is honestly very important when it comes to you know 1v2ing killing two people at the same time um because a lot of people aren't good at that and that's okay it does take skill to you know kill two three people at the same time you know people see me do it sometimes and wonder how i do it well there's two things to it and the second one is more of a cold war tip with it but we're gonna be talking about them both either way so in Cold War, or just in Call of Duty in general, catching your opponents off guard is crucial, especially when you're weak. So this is something that pro players are really good at. We're really good at, you know, if we're ever weak or we, we, we take our challenge, we kind of understand our limits and we try our best, you know, especially when we're one shot and we know we're about to get pushed. We know we're about to die, that we have to just try to world star them. That's your only chance. And sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But believe it or not, a lot of the times, one, people don't expect it. If someone gets you, let's say you're right here and somebody gets you one shot, right? And then his teammate is this guy. And he's coming up behind. He's like, oh, he's one shot. I'm just going to run at him and trade him. And instead of you just, you know, sitting here like a sitting duck or like trying to stay alive, you like slide out and like hit a pre-aim. By this time, this guy is going to run up the stairs and be here and just running at you. Bam, free kill. And that like randomness of aggression that you, you know, you displayed because you know you had no chance and you kind of had to make something happen will get you some crazy kills sometimes, but it's just a smart way of thinking. You got to think that way in a lot of these situations. And that's something I see like not a lot of people understand or think that way. And it's very important when it comes to like getting multiple kills. You got to be willing to over challenge when you're weak. Obviously, we can stay down. Like I said, okay, I'm going to stay down on one shot. But sometimes you know a second guy is going to push me. Let's say I just killed one guy here. I'm one shot. I know for a fact this guy's going to push me. I'm literally going to back down for here a second. I'm going to slide out. And that slide, I'm going to try to just catch him off guard and kill him. If he kills me, I tried, you know, but it was my best chance. And this is this kind of goes hand in hand with that uh, tip as well, tip number four, um, which is really important. Is actually in Cold War, there's something kind of crazy about this game. When you actually are very close to someone, you lose almost all aim assist. So, for example, let's say I just kill someone. He has me weak, and I know a guy's about to challenge me. You can almost or always slide into, not always, but you can slide into the guy and make it like random where you guys are both shooting, kind of missing, and just hope you kill him because he's going to lose the aim assist. Just, it's just something you should know. Now for the last tip, and this is actually quite important because, well, this is something else pro players do a lot and it's very OP, especially in Cold War. One, we're going to be talking about, first of all, is jump shotting. Now, I know a lot of people say stray away from jump shotting in Cold War. Do not jump shot. Yes, it is true. Jump shotting isn't the best thing in this game, and you shouldn't do it often. But I don't want you to completely avoid it. I just, you need to understand when to do it. Now, jump shotting definitely isn't as good in this game as it's been in past cause. It does feel a little clunky, and your gun kind of like stays really stiff midair and then sometimes it's a little jumpy so you got to be careful when you're jump shotting but one of the best things is you still want to jump you can still jump shot like like mid-ish gunfights or like close up like let's say guys here i can still like jump shot him and challenge him or like even this range um but another thing is you want to jump shot usually after you've already aimed in and you already shot so you don't you never want to you never want to like start shooting and or like kind of get like you know spazzy like and then like and then like uh jump shot aim in you kind of want to get like be in a gunfight let's say aimed in already like pre-aimed in inside shooting and then jump so you kind of want to like be aimed in and this way you're going to be a lot more accurate with it and you're going to hit your shots and it's just not going to be like hey you should avoid this like you don't always have to avoid it, it still can be pretty good you know and for the last thing that goes with also tip number five we're going to be talking about crowd shotting another way that pro players like to engage in gunfights now i do crouch with r3 so it's very easy for me to aim and um, crouch at the same time so i can kind of do both at the same time pretty consistently it does take a little practice at first but this is actually really good and i guess two reasons why one it makes that your opponent miss bullets a little bit and two notice something when i'm aimed in at someone i usually aim for their chest about when i go down even if my gun recoils up 
I'm putting my body down. So my gun drops with it. So it's very hard to miss your shots when you do this. And this is something some pro players do. Not all of them do it, but trust me, like this is actually really good. And usually the pro players that, you know, you do it against or that do it to you win those crouching gunfights. Okay, guys, that has been my five most OP things pro players do in Cold War. Some amazing tips for you guys that will help you become better players and stuff that you should be applying to your game if you aren't. I hope you guys seriously enjoyed this video. Like I say and always say, make sure to like the video. Smash that like button. Let's aim for a thousand likes. It helps me a ton. It helps the video grow. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. If you guys have any other tips you guys like me to do on Call of Duty and Cold War, just leave it in the comments below. And like I said, I freaking love you guys. Or like I always say, hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.